sitting out here in the yard at the picnic table just looking around watching the birds and deer and all uh, live on about uh, 15 acres yeah it's it's uh sometimes <laughs> for, for a uh, little short road it uh, gets pretty busy sometimes uh, for some reason there's a lot of accidents on this road and usually <laughs> usually there are only one car accidents uh, usually the I don't know if it's because of speed all of it or what, but they get out and they get to doing stuff they ain't supposed to, and next thing you know, you got an accident, and, well, you know how it is. But I figured I'd do a video today, being the 14th of April, and uh, just wanted to come out and sit and, and think about what's going on in the, the world uh, you know praying and hoping for the safe return of, of our military from overseas and and uh, with this stuff going on in Syria or Syria now uh, with the coalition uh, as of last night when I was watching we had bombed and eliminated at least 20 percent of their air force you know 20 percent that sounds good but that's really nothing if, if you're talking a thousand fighters or whatever you're not talking much i mean because you can still do a lot of damage with the other 80 percent and uh but I, I agree it all this has to happen for a reason and it's not because of money even though that may have something to do with it but you know you shouldn't be able to treat your people the way these other countries do gas them just to see what the effects are test stuff on them that should never be tested on a human body uh, but unfortunately uh, if you think about it, that's where some of our uh, biggest doctor practices have come from or our uh, medical practices you know before uh, Hitler most of the time, if you broke an arm, they just cut your arm off. You know, sometimes they'd set it if they could, but most of the time they just amputate. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying he's a genius, because uh, stuff he did to Jewish people and and the pe uh, and his own people, being Jewish himself, was horrible, but you know uh, I'm not saying our country doesn't do it I'm sure we probably do uh, unfortunately or fortunately uh, we keep it pretty well hush hush I'd say but uh, you know I don't know it's it's sad And the youngest come out and decide she's gonna spend some time with dad. And uh, but just take a few minutes today. And uh, if you see a soldier, not just a soldier, any military, because I know Marines don't like being called soldiers. They're devil dogs. But that's okay. You know, shake their hand, thank them, thank them for what they're doing. 
for helping save our freedom. You know, it's a shame. It's a shame that uh, we have to send them to these other countries. But if we didn't, can you imagine all the jack holes or whatever would be over here trying to cause more trouble than what they have? You know? I don't know if the World Trade Centers or any of that was pre-planned here by our own government or what. I mean, I don't know. Don't there's just too many coincidences on both sides and uh, I definitely don't want to don't want to find out my own government did that yeah, can you imagine if, if we all did we found out that our government was involved in some of that man that would that would destroy this country get tiny out here too I know it's a member of the family. <laughs> Not a time. Yes. She's a good little girl. Mm -hmm. She likes to kiss. She's got, uh, oh, let me remember now. Chihuahua. And. Was it Spitz? Um, I can't remember right off. Maybe some Terrier too. Yeah, but, I think Terrier also. She's like 10 weeks old, I believe. People had her, she was the only one out of the bunch. That survived is what I understood. He had a brother. A brother? Mm-hmm. Another one. You don't know? Yeah. No. And they were uh, planning on just taking them and getting right out of them. He was born on Valentine's. Yeah. So what right like. around Valentine's. Huh. He's a kid. Well. And, and if you want to give them more than just a handshake and a thank you, buy them a coffee. I mean, or buy them a lunch or dinner. You know, those, those old boys and girls got to eat too. And uh, they like to know that us here at home have their back. And I guarantee you, I do. So, uh, I don't know what else to show you here, but I guess sometimes maybe I get a camera and I don't have to carry this laptop all around. Maybe we could do some, uh, take some pictures of stuff or videos out in the yard and around it's kind of hard to carry this big laptop but nah, I guess I'm going to get off here for now and uh, if you like it you know what to do if not do what you got to do I don't care we're all here just to have fun and We'll make some videos and maybe get paid for it. And if we don't, oh well. Right time. No? But uh, I'll get off here and you guys have a great day and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Bye.